Hi there, students. A solecism. Okay, a solecism is a posh formal word for a grammatical mistake. So, if you make a grammatical mistake when you're speaking in English, then that's a solecism. We can also use solecism to mean to a breach of etiquette, a faux pas, a gaffe, if you like, um, bad manners. For example, speaking while you're eating, that would be a solecism. But getting back to the phrase, a grammatical mistake, that students uh, produce solecisms is perfectly understandable. It's not their language. But if you make grammatical mistakes in your own language, then it shows that either you're uneducated or you're trying to be pretentious. You're trying to use long words that you don't really understand how to use them. So, for example, the phone goes, ring, ring, hello. And the person on the phone says, could I speak to Alex, please? And the, and the uh, person says, um, whom shall I say is calling? This is a solecism. So, what's wrong with that? Well, whom should I say is calling? No, who should I say is calling? Who is the subject? Whom is an object? And the person who's speaking, who's made this solecism, I think they believe that the word whom sounds formal, as opposed to understanding the real grammar of it. Another solecism would be, yesterday I have visited my friend. Certainly in British English, that's a solecism. Yeah, maybe you could comment in what is wrong with the phrase, yesterday I have visited my friend. So a solecism, it's making a grammatical mistake. But for posh people, certainly in the UK, making grammatical mistakes um, is a breach of etiquette. If you're an educated person, you ought to be able to use the English language properly. And if you can't use a word properly, then you shouldn't be using it. But going on to this idea of breaches of etiquette. So if you're, talk if you're in a group of middle class people, I think dropping your H's would be a solecism. Uh, who is here? Who is here? Okay, it's the wrong pronunciation for the group. But then I think if you're in an East London pub with a group of workers, I think not dropping your H's is a solecism. So I think etiquette depends on where you are. Okay, so a solecism, a grammatical mistake, a faux pas. Notice it's really quite a formal word. I have a feeling that um, a lot of people won't know what a solecism is. But use it and then explain it to them. So, yeah, don't use the word solecism in a conversation down the pub. I think using solecism in that uh, hmm, atmosphere itself would be a solecism. Okay, so what about the origin? The origin of this word is really interesting. Um, it comes from ancient Greek um, and the Athenians had a province called Soloi. Now Soloi is I think somewhere in southern Anatolia. But the Greeks thought that the uh, people in this place, they spoke a dialect, a corrupted version of Greek. And the, the Greek that they spoke was really, really bad. 
So whenever somebody in Athens made a grammatical mistake, then they called it a solecism. Okay, from soloi, speaking like someone from soloi. Um, making grammatical mistakes, not speaking properly. And that's really where the word came from. Okay, so a solecism, a grammatical mistake, a grammatical error, or a gross breach of etiquette of what you should, should be doing, a faux pas. F-A-U-X-P-A-S is French, okay, a social gaffe. So there you go, I hope I haven't produced any solecisms while making this video, you never know. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Solecisms.